Meet Nurse Jen. Nurse Jen helps people who have atypical hemolytic uremic syndrome. That's a lot of words, so people like Nurse Jen call it AHIS for short. Emma is five years old and just learned that she has AHIS. Nurse Jen is familiar with how scary AHIS can be. How did you end up in hospital? A couple of weeks ago, I got a cold and it felt like all my other colds. But I didn't get better. The doctors didn't know what was wrong with me. They took lots of tests and it took a long time for them to figure out what was wrong. Finally, one of the doctors talked to my mummy. The doctor knew I had AHUS. I'm so glad your doctor got the answer. And even though this is rare, you're not alone. Knowing you have it is the first step in helping you manage your AHUS. But I don't know what it is. I just know I felt sick. AHUS means your body's defences get carried away and cause damage to some parts of your body, which can make you feel unwell. You see, everyone has an immune system. It helps get rid of germs that can make you sick. The complement system is an important part of the immune system. It helps to protect your body from viruses and bacteria. If you don't have AHIS, your body tells your complement system when the bacteria or viruses are under control and that the complement system's job is done for now. But when you have AHIS, your body can't get the message to your complement system that the job is done. Your complement system sends too much help, which can start to hurt healthy parts of your body instead of protecting you. This is why when you have AHIS, you may feel tired and sick. Don't worry, we have a plan. Now that your doctors found out that you have AHIS, they can help you manage your condition. Thank you, Emma says, feeling less scared. Nurse Jen is busy working on her computer when 10-year-old Ben, who has AHIS, appears at the counter. Hi, Ben. I hear you're going home today. Are you excited? Yeah, but I'm not sure what to do if I get sick again. Well, if you're feeling sick, you should tell your parents and come back to see your doctor. But wouldn't it be better if I just stayed here and had doctors and nurses around me all the time? Hospitals are for people who need help all through the day. Some people with AHIS have to stay in the hospital longer, but in your case, doctors don't have to watch you every minute. You can go back to school and play with your friends. Your doctors have made a plan to help you with your AHIS, and we'll see you in clinic regularly. Remember, it's not just you who has to manage your AHIS. Your parents, your doctor and I are here to help you. Ben feels a lot better as he takes in everything that Nurse Jen just said. Thank you, Nurse Jen. Bye! Nicole is 14 years old and has been living with AHIS for a few years now. Over time, she's learned a lot about AHIS and what living with it is like. Nicole has to visit the hospital regularly for checkups and treatment. Nurse Jen asks Nicole what it's like getting treatment. I used to get nervous, but now I don't mind getting treatment. I just sit and read a book, watch some TV on my tablet, or snuggle under a blanket and just relax. Plus, my mum doesn't make me do homework when I'm getting my treatment. Nurse Jen is very proud that Nicole is doing all she can to stay on top of her AHIS. It's a big step to go from being diagnosed to making AHIS just another part of your life. How's everything else going? For Nicole, balancing her AHIS and school has been a struggle. I'm thinking of trying out for the school musical, but is it okay to do all that while having AHIS? There are lots of activities people with AHIS can enjoy, and your friends will understand if you may have to sit one or two things out. Just keep up with what you're doing and stick to your treatment plan. If you're not sure, just check with your doctor. She'll know best if something is okay for you to do. AHIS is part of your life, but it doesn't always have to be the focus of it. I'm sure we'll see you shining on that stage. Nicole gives Nurse Jen a big smile. She is confident about managing her AHIS, and Nurse Jen has made her feel even better about the future. Another nurse appears and asks Nurse Jen, Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, Nurse Jen says. 
That's right, Nurse Jen has Ahis too. Now it's her turn to see the doctor. It's the end of a long day, but a good day. Because Nurse Jen talked to three amazing kids, all dealing with Ahis at very different stages of their journeys. Not every day can be a good day, but there is good in every day. And today has been a great day.